So, uh, just some quick thoughts about TikTok suspending operations in Hong Kong. Uh, TikTok, owned by the, the Chinese company ByteDance. Um, they, they've been, you know, booted out of a couple countries, most noble, notably uh, India. And um, on the surface, people will say, oh, it's because of security concerns, because, you know, every company in China is basically the Chinese government, and so they share information with the Chinese government and, and whatnot. And that's not like the full concern here, right? So uh, in the past few weeks, uh, the whole past month of June, uh, in America, we had protests uh, regarding the murder of George Floyd by Minneapolis police. And all of the protests had spectacular footage coming from them that was posted to TikTok, that was shared around and disseminated. And uh, I got the feeling that uh, the For You page on TikTok, as you scroll, was uh, full of sensationalized riot footage. Uh, cop cars on fire... Uh, a few instances of police brutality um, that I hadn't seen on other news media, but it just so happened to show up on TikTok in my For You page. And so uh, just scrolling 10, 15 minutes a day, I was seeing a lot of violence that would stir me to want to be part of the protest, part of the activism, right? So why would TikTok not want to operate in Hong Kong? Uh, especially if Hong Kong now legally is supposed to be part of China. You know, if if that uh, one country, two programs uh, system is over now and they're, they're trying to integrate them, why would they take that city in particular and take away their TikTok? Well, to me it's simple. They're about to start squashing all of the activism in Hong Kong with a huge military presence. And they don't want video of it widely disseminated all over the internet, so they're going to try to silence it by shutting down the platforms that would be sharing it. So, um, the fact that TikTok, a Chinese company, is not going to operate in China, in in Hong Kong, which is now supposedly supposed to be part of China. Uh, to me, that says, yeah, they're about to uh, they're about to stop, start something huge. And uh, in in the midst of a pandemic in the world, that does not bode well for them because there's nothing the rest of the world can do for them. We're all dealing with our own problems, you know. And just like Crimea getting annexed by Russia, uh, after it's it's just been the way things are for a while, it's going to be much harder for them to resist uh, this sort of annexation and integration into uh, mainland China. So my heart goes out to people in Hong Kong that are about to receive a beatdown. Sucks.